I found that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. I found that most people fail in life because they do what I did for most of my life, aim too low and hit. And many aim, but never aim at all. Now I want you to think about your social contribution. What would be different because you showed up? Horace Mann said we should be ashamed to die until we've made some major contribution to humankind. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. Complain, point at your circumstances, give up your power, blame the government, blame the economy. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. It's hard to make a radical change in your behavior. It's hard to take ownership. It's hard to swallow the bitter pill that wherever you find yourself, at some point in time, you made an appointment to be there. That's hard. That's hard. You don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. You have to create an achiever's mindset. Not, you have to create that yourself. My favorite book says, Be ye not conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what you're doing right now is an indication of what's most important. As you begin to invest in yourself, setting aside a time to be here. And so it's very important that you look at the people that's in your circle and begin to understand, are you growing mentally and emotionally and spiritually and professionally? Are they an asset to you or a liability to you? Yeah, see, one of the things about life, you're going to get hurt. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to fail your way to success. But you've got to be willing to experiment. You've got to be willing to push yourself. You've got to be willing to challenge yourself by putting yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. And so the things happen in life. When you have goals and dreams, things happen. And so as you look at yourself and look at your goals, setting aside time every day, to work on your mindset, to expand your vision of what's possible for you. There's times in your life when things are going to happen that you've got to begin to put your dream on hold. And you might have to reinvent yourself. The wealthiest place on the planet is not in the Four East where there's oil on the ground. It's not in South Africa where there are diamond mines. It's in the wealthiest place on the planet is the cemetery. There you see potential never realized. There you find books never written. There you find ideas never acted on. But imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams, the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life, but you, for whatever reason, you never pursued those dreams. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those gifts. You never used those talents. And there they are staring at you as you're lying on your bed with large angry eyes saying, we came to you. And only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you forever. And the question is, if you die today, what dreams, what talents, what abilities, what gifts, what ideas will die with you. So as you look at yourself, not only must we begin to upgrade our relationships, but the other thing is, as you look at your goals and look at your dreams, write this down, you will fail your way to success. See, 85% of people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. You're going to make some mistakes, and it's okay. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. It's worth doing right if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how to do it, it's worth doing badly until you get it right. You have to be willing to experiment with life. I've done a variety of things and I had absolutely no idea I had the ability to do those things. Here's what I can say about you and I don't even know you. You've got greatness within you. But you will not discover your greatness in your comfort zone. You've got to be willing to get outside of your comfort zone. 
Because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. And most people, they go to their graves with their greatness still in them. And so as you think about your goals and dreams, I'm suggesting that you set aside time every day if you're not doing it already. Reading 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. Listening to audio programs. Investing in yourself to expand your mind for what it's possible. To develop a, a spirit of optimism. It says you look at yourself and look at your goals. There's some things that you can do when you challenge yourself, when you go outside your comfort zone. There are things that will come in the direction of your life that you can't even begin to imagine. That you're going to begin to evolve and go to new levels that will amaze you. And I tell you these things not to impress you, but to impress upon you. You have something special. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And so what I'm suggesting that you do is to stretch yourself.